Hey everybody, I'm here with Lizanne Peugeot. Hi. Hi. And uh, James Swirsky. Hey. And they made Indie Game the movie, you didn't. And they're on tour with it, and I came to see the tour and sold out show. Uh, how are you guys feeling? This is incredible. Yeah, it's kind of neat to have two sold out shows here in Boston. Turning people away is weird. <laughs> yeah. It's like a yeah. two person operation with some help from Adobe, is that right? Oh, Adobe is yeah. like a, a big part of the tour. Like they basically funded it and made it possible. But yeah, we take the tickets, we sell you a t-shirt, we do the intro, we'll go up and do the QA, we'll tell you to leave, we'll tell you where the bathroom is. We're running very <laughs> lean, running very lean, yeah. Yeah, and that's been going on for how long now? We've been touring, we've been on the road since mid-February, so. Oh, you must be toast. Is, what month is it? <laughs> Yeah. Where is the tour going? When's it going to end and how is it going to culminate? Yeah, so we have a few more dates left. We have Philadelphia and Washington and we're showing uh, in New York for a, an event which is sold out. But uh, we're, doing, we're actually opening in New York as like a real film. So on May 18th, we're going to be in... It's a real <laughs> film already. <laughs> <laughs> but gonna, like a real opening. It's going to be in New York and stay in New York for yeah, some time. It's going to stay in New York for a week. It'll be in L.A., Seattle, San Francisco, Phoenix, Phoenix Miami. Miami. And Toronto, and Austin. Oh. Yeah, and then we're also doing this thing in Canada. So if you're from Canada, on May 3rd, we're going to be in every city in 35, almost every city, uh, 35 theaters on one night uh, with Cineplex and hot dogs. So that'll be cool. Yeah, we're doing. Yeah, we're, we got our hands in lots of different things. Are you are you still poor and like starving, or is this like a profit deal now? Are you going to survive? Because I'm always just like the people in your film. There are people I know, and I want them to not die. And you're like extensions to that. I don't want you guys to die either. So are you gonna yeah. are you well, gonna make it's it? It's going good now. Like like you know, for two years we didn't make any money because we were making the movie and all everything that we had we just threw into it. And now it's now it's started a little bit. Start starting, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna die anytime soon, uh, but we're not Scrooge McDuck and stuff. <laughs> right, right, right. You're still at that. Wow, what a nice level to be at. You're not like worried about all your money yet, and you're not starving either. <laughs> yeah. you're right in, right it's a wonderful level. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we're at. Have you thought about what you're gonna do next? I want to have a nap. <laughs> I say that to every interview, but it's true. Like I, I really want to do nothing for a bit. But we have lots of ideas of stuff we want to start. But we are releasing the film fairly soon, like digitally, DVD stuff like that. Announcements are coming soon. Then we're making a special edition which is going to be awesome, and it's going to involve a lot more developers than are in the film. Not that the developers in the film aren't good. They're right, but you had a whole like three-and-a-half-hour version with 20 different uh, developers yeah. at one point. It yeah. was about the whole indie scene almost. Yeah. Yeah. Then you narrowed it down to a kind of a narrative experience about the, yeah. the main so we're guys. reworking all that. Yeah. And uh, then what are we doing? Then we're doing project number two. Whatever that is. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we got like good ideas, and I want, I want to start shooting soon. Uh, do you really? Yeah, I totally do. Wow. It's because, yeah, for like 10 years, I like shot something like every two weeks or something. Uh -huh. And I haven't picked up a camera and like made something for, I don't know, eight months? You've been uh, selling tickets and talking yeah, about yourself. Like all the business and of, of like getting this movie out there and just birthing the movie has like taken over everything. And then and that's cool and a neat challenge, but it's, yeah, I need to make something. Do you want to make a reality show about video game developers? Because I know these Octodad guys. You know the Octodad? Guys? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. all yeah they, they all, all live in a house <laughs> and they're like pitch a show when you see them. That's so funny. We just talked to them in, in, in Chicago and they said that, but they're like, "Wow, you look so tired." No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Phil Fish, controversial dude. We both like him. I like him a lot. Um, you have any comment on kind of the stuff that spurred it up in his face and how he ended up kind of retreating from the internet all over kind of an offhand comment he made at one of the screenings of this film. Yeah, it's, it's weird when that when that comment kind of came out, like it, it was, you know, it was a very, you know, loud kind of comment to start off what ended up being like a five minute discussion about why they actually do think, you know, modern Japanese games, Japanese games aren't as good as, you know, 80s, 90s uh, Japanese games. and kind of like as soon as he said it you could you could you could see like it, it's like it came from his mouth like to a blog headline and it like the right. internet kind of does what the internet does sure. and and that's okay because that's what it does uh, but there was like that comment and then there was like five minutes of both like John Blow and Phil Fish talking about in in a rational way why they do think Japanese games suck right and yeah yeah it's just uh it and that's kind of like one thing I like about the movie is that you kind of guy, get guys like Phil Fish and get guys like John Blow that have like this kind of very one-dimensional look of you know who they are on the internet, mm -hmm. um, and that's just one slice, like one small little facet taken to an extreme that kind of presents this 
supposedly full picture, but it's not. Right. And so we're hoping actually the movie kind of presents a more rounded look at Phil and a more rounded look at John. And you know, so you kind of like read the headlines and see the comments, but there's so much more to it than that. Um, I'm gonna yeah. be honest with you. I didn't want to interview after the, the movie. Because after watching the movie, I was like, I suck at this. They gave such a well-rounded, uh, full picture of who these guys are, which I try to do too, and I'm just not doing it as well as you. I'm like, I should just give up and go home. I mean, what you did with the movie is what Phil Fish and all those guys deserve, and we in the blogosphere are trying, but we're just not as good as you yet. Oh, well, we, it, do we, yeah, I moved years. down. No, two years, though. Like we spent you're pretty good. Time. No. Come on. No. I think you're great. <laughs> I'm so excited to talk to you guys, but I guess I've talked your ear off. Uh, anything you want people to know before we sign off? Oh, uh, come and check it out in theaters if you can, and and if not, it'll be out soon. Yeah. And if you see it, if you see it and yeah. you like it, tell a friend. Tell a friend that and it's not even into games. Yes. Because that's kind of interesting to us to see how people that aren't into games or think that they're not into games, like what what they'll feel after they watch the movie. Awesome. Yeah, it's a really good movie. I'm in it. <laughs>